Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. We've got some fun things here we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on more intermediate to advanced techniques here. They're not hard. They're just little producer's tricks. And the first thing we're going to do is focus on side chaining in a series of videos here. And in its very first one, we're going to actually use the kick drum through side chaining to trigger a moog that plays every time the kick drum plays. Now I've gone ahead and set this up, and let's have a listen. Notice the kick comes in. pretty cool. Now you can pick any sound. You can even pick just a deep bass sound to thicken the kick. And we'll get to that later. But this time we're, we decided to make it melodic. Now how do we do it? First thing you want to do is set up a mono audio track. And we've already set this up. Then what you want to do is insert the instrument you want to use. We're using the Moog here just because it has a very old-school kind of sound. Then what we did was gate it. And we set the gate to sidechain mode. Check it out. So we've got the settings on the gate just to tighten it up a bit. Now, of course, we could do it in the keyboard, too, but we're showing you this now for other techniques we're going to show you later. So now we need to go to our kick track and in our sends, just like an effect send, scroll down. And instead of adding an effect, we're going to go down to side chains. Moog trigger. Turn that up. Now you may notice it actually follows melodically. How do we do that? Well, take it to the next level. Create a MIDI track. Project, add track, MIDI. We've already done it. And in our MIDI track, we scroll down here to Moog trigger, insert MIDI effects. Then we literally played the note, which only occurs when the kick hits. But we want to follow it musically so that it works. And result. Very cool. Now let's take it a step further. Go to video two. <laughs> 